Hello everyone, welcome back to Agriculture Insight. Green apples, especially the Granny Smith variety, are one of the most iconic and beloved types of apples in America. Did you know that American farmers harvest millions of tons of green apples each year, not just for fresh consumption, but also to create mouth-watering treats? Washington State, known as the apple capital of the U.S., is famous not only for its massive apple production, but also for its cutting-edge harvesting methods. Here, green apples are carefully harvested using advanced technology to ensure they stay fresh and damage-free from the orchard to the factory. Once harvested, these apples are transported to processing facilities where the magic happens. They're cleaned, peeled, and transformed into delicious apple pies, a dessert staple on countless American dinner tables. So, get ready to dive into the fascinating world of green apples with us. Let's get started. The journey of green apples begins with tiny seedlings, where life takes root and the foundation for fruitful apple trees is nurtured. At specialized nurseries, apple trees are propagated through grafting techniques and meticulously cared for to prepare them for their future as bountiful ord trees. The process of creating green apple seedlings starts with selecting healthy branches from parent trees. The apple branches are neatly pruned and brought down to the ground where they are swiftly collected by specialized machinery, ready to be transported to the processing facility. There, the branches are trimmed and straightened to meet the standards required for the next grafting step. The top of the grafted branch is carefully cut to prepare it for connection with the pre-selected rootstock. The branch and rootstock are then joined together and secured with specialized tape to stabilize and protect the graft. This careful process ensures proper alignment for nutrient flow, giving the graft the best chance to heal and grow into a strong, productive tree. Next, the graft is dipped into a special chemical solution to encourage sprouting and improve the success rate of the union. These grafted branches are placed in moist coconut coir and watered regularly to maintain optimal humidity levels. Once the grafts are fully established, the young grafted trees are planted in the soil at the nursery. This planting process is semi-automated, with a machine creating furrows in the soil, while an operator seated behind carefully places each grafted tree into the furrow. The machine moves slowly to ensure proper alignment, and the operator ensures the seedlings are planted straight and at the correct depth. Apple saplings are typically nurtured for one to two years to develop into fully grown, high-quality seedlings. Throughout this period, the trees are cared for with organic fertilizers, regular watering, and pest control treatments to ensure healthy growth. Modern machinery plays a crucial role in this process, automating tasks like nutrient application and pest management. When the seedlings mature and their leaves begin to yellow, a vibrating machine is used to shake off the leaves. Afterward, Specialized equipment gently lifts the seedlings, ensuring the roots remain undamaged. The harvested seedlings are transported back to the facility, bundled neatly and stored with care. This marks the final stage before the seedlings are delivered to orchards, ready to grow into lush apple trees that will one day bear the iconic Granny Smith apples. The young green apple seedlings eventually find their permanent home in sprawling orchards where they will spend their entire lives producing delicious apples. Planting these seedlings on large farms follows the same semi-automated process used for grafted trees. The spacing between each tree is typically maintained at 10 to 15 feet depending on the variety and desired planting density. The rootstock is planted level with or slightly below the ground usually 8 to 12 inches deep. This depth ensures the roots anchor firmly into the soil, providing stability and efficient absorption of water and nutrients. Once planted, green apple trees require diligent care to thrive. Automated irrigation systems are installed to supply about 1 to 2 inches of water per week, depending on weather conditions, ensuring the soil remains consistently moist and suitable for growth. Young branches are pruned to shape the canopy and remove weak or misdirected shoots, 
allowing the tree to focus its energy on the essential parts. Regular pest and disease prevention measures are also taken, with periodic spraying of safe and approved treatments to protect the trees from harmful insects and fungal infections. Green apple trees begin to bloom around three to four years after planting. Springtime is when the magic happens, as warm weather and abundant sunlight create the ideal conditions for pollination. They emit a gentle fragrance that attracts pollinators, particularly bees, which play a crucial role in the pollination process. As the bees diligently travel from flower to flower, they transfer pollen between the stamens and pistils, enabling the formation of fruit. Green apples, particularly the Granny Smith variety, require about 150 to 180 days to grow from blossoms to harvest-ready fruit. Fall, from September to November, marks the busiest season in Washington's apple orchards. Harvesting green apples is a meticulous process supported by modern machinery. Specialized equipment with secure platforms helps farmers reach the apples growing high on the trees. Farmers carefully hand-pick each apple, using a gentle twisting motion to detach the fruit from its branch without damaging the smooth green skin. Once picked, the apples are gently placed on conveyor belts built into the machinery. These belts transport the apples to collection bins, where soft rotating brushes remove dirt and debris from the surface, ensuring the apples remain clean and shiny. The machines move slowly along the rows of trees, efficiently collecting the apples while preserving their quality. This method combines the skill of human hands with the efficiency of modern technology, guaranteeing that Washington's famous green apples reach the highest standards of quality. It's a crucial first step in the journey that takes these apples from orchard to table. Alongside harvesting with modern conveyor systems, at some less equipped farms, green apples are still handpicked by migrant workers. These laborers skillfully pluck each apple from the branches, taking care not to bruise the skin or damage the fruit. Once picked, the apples are carefully placed into bags worn on their chests or baskets positioned nearby. This work requires patience and technique, as each apple is inspected to meet size and color standards. Despite the challenges, the meticulous effort of these hands ensures that fresh, high-quality green apples reach consumers. After harvest, the apple crates are loaded onto trailers linked together like a small train winding through the orchard. These trailers carefully transport the apples to a collection area where they are transferred onto large trucks. From there, the apples are swiftly delivered to processing facilities or distribution centers, ensuring their freshness is preserved. The first step in processing green apples at the factory is thorough cleaning using advanced water systems. The apples are gently immersed in large water tanks, where dirt, soil and debris are loosened and washed away. These tanks often include gentle agitation to ensure even cleaning without damaging the fruit. After soaking, the apples are transported through interconnected water channels, which carry them smoothly to the next stage of the process. Some factories enhance this process by incorporating ozonated water or mild sanitizing solutions, ensuring the apples are not only spotless, but also meet stringent food safety standards. As the apples move from the water tanks, they are carried along smooth conveyor belts designed to transport them gently to the optical grading area. The conveyor system ensures the apples remain evenly spaced to avoid collisions or bruising during transit. Along the way, excess water is drained off, leaving the apples clean and ready for inspection. Once cleaned, the apples are moved to the sorting area, where advanced optical scanners meticulously inspect each one. These scanners evaluate the apples based on size, color, shape, and the perfection of their skin. After passing through the optical sorting machines, the green apples are further graded by automated systems that ensure precision. The approved apples continue along the conveyor for packaging or processing, while those deemed unsuitable are gently removed through mechanical arms or air jets. This additional step guarantees that only the highest quality apples proceed, meeting the strict standards set for market or production use. Apples that meet quality standards 
are sent to the packaging area, where they are carefully arranged into trays or carton boxes lined with soft padding to protect the fruit from bumps or scratches. Each box is then labeled with detailed information, including the origin, packaging date, apple variety, and quality standards. This labeling ensures consumers can easily trace the product's details and feel confident in their purchase. In advanced facilities, the entire packaging process is handled by automated robotic systems. These robots, equipped with precise sensors, gently pick up each apple and arrange them neatly into trays. This method not only speeds up the process but also minimizes errors, improves productivity, and ensures consistency in the final product. With their ability to operate continuously, these systems handle large orders efficiently while maintaining the highest quality standards. Once packaged, the Apple boxes are transferred to cold storage facilities, where temperature and humidity are carefully regulated. This ensures the apples remain fresh and retain their natural flavor for extended periods. In the cold storage, the boxes are neatly stacked on pallets, ready to be shipped to supermarkets, retail stores, or exported to international markets. This step completes the journey of green apples, ensuring they arrive at their destination in perfect condition, ready to delight consumers around the world. Once the fresh and carefully packed apples are stored at the factory, some of them continue their journey to become the star ingredient of the iconic apple pie. The journey begins with the apples being fed into automatic peelers, where sharp blades swiftly and gently remove their smooth green skins. At the same time, these advanced machines are equipped with precision coring tools that simultaneously remove the hard cores from the apples as they are being peeled. This synchronized process ensures efficiency, with the blades skillfully slicing away the skin while cylindrical coring blades extract the tough inner cores and seeds in one seamless motion. Once peeled and cored, the apples move on to a slicing system that cuts them into evenly sized pieces. These apple slices are then packaged in specialized bags to maintain their freshness and quality. The pre-sliced apples are transported to pie-making factories, where they embark on their final transformation into mouth-watering apple pies. Fresh apple slices from Grand Smith Green Apple are washed before being transferred to large kettles. Here, they are mixed with ingredients like honey, sugar, and spices to create the signature apple pie flavor. The mixture is gently cooked and stirred, releasing natural juices while blending harmoniously with the added ingredients. Simultaneously, the pie crust is being meticulously prepared to achieve the perfect buttery and flaky texture. Skilled hands work the dough into thin, even sheets, ensuring it has just the right thickness. After the dough is carefully kneaded to achieve perfect smoothness and elasticity, it is divided into smaller pieces for easier handling. These pieces are then rolled into thin, even sheets, ready to be used for making apple pies. Afterward, the filling is poured into the pie crusts using an automatic machine. The machine precisely measures the amount of filling, gently depositing the sweet, spiced apple mixture into each crust. Another layer of dough is placed on top. The edges are carefully sealed to keep the filling inside. Each pie is then shaped, vented for steam release, and transferred to the ovens. The baking temperature is meticulously controlled to ensure a golden brown crust and perfectly cooked filling. After baking, the pies are cooled in a specialized system to retain their crispness and fresh flavor. Finally, the apple pies are automatically packaged in protective boxes, complete with detailed labels. These pies are now ready to be distributed to stores or exported ensuring every customer enjoys a slice of this beloved dessert at its finest. Now you've seen the full journey of green apples, from being carefully harvested in the orchards to becoming high-quality products like apple pie. This process is a testament to the perfect combination of modern agricultural technology and the craftsmanship of American farmers. Thank you for joining me on this exciting exploration. If you have any questions or thoughts, feel free to leave a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel 
for more fascinating stories about green apples and modern agriculture. See you in the next video.